Hi guys, it's Marty here from letsbuildwp.com and in this video we're going to be covering how to forward a domain name to our HostGator web hosting account. This is something we'll need to do if we purchase a domain name from somewhere like GoDaddy or Crazy Domains and we plan to use it with our HostGator account. But it doesn't matter where we buy our domain name from as the steps are always basically going to be the same. So if you're ready to get started, this is how to forward a domain name to our HostGator web hosting. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is just open up our internet browser with our HostGator control panel or cPanel open in one tab and the site we registered our domain name from open in another tab. And in this example, I'm using crazy domains. So we just want to make sure that we've got them both open and we're logged into both. And once we are, we can head over to our HostGator control panel, scroll down to where it says domains, and then click add on domains. Then we're just going to type or paste the domain name we're going to use into this first box. And then if we click outside of the box, it's going to auto populate our subdomain and document root. And then underneath we can check this box labelled create an FTP account. If you're not really sure what an FTP account is, it's not really that important at this moment in time, but just make sure you write down your username and password and save them in a Word document or something like that labelled FTP logins. Then you'll always have them if you need them. So our username will auto populate and then we can just enter a password Scroll down and click the Add Domain button at the bottom and we're finished with this part of the process. Creating an add-on domain is only the first step though. Now we need to go and tell our domain name provider where to point our domain name to. So to do this we just need to head over to our domain registrar and then click into the domain name that we're using. Then we're just going to look around for an option to update what are known as our DNS name servers. See, this is the only part of the process that's going to change depending on the site we register our domain name from. If you're using crazy domains like I am, after clicking on our domain, we just need to scroll down and we'll see here it says name servers. Then when we hover over one of them, we can click modify on the right hand side. If you can't find the option or you're having any problems, just do a quick Google search for wherever you registered the domain name from, plus how to edit name servers. I'll also add a few links below in the description, which will show you how to update name servers on some of the most popular domain registrars. Then once we know where they are, we'll see name server 1 and name server 2. Then the URLs in these boxes are the actual name servers themselves. So once we know how to edit them, we can now head back over to our HostGator C panel to get the new ones. So we just need to click the HostGator logo in the top left to go back to the home page. And if we scroll down, on the right hand side we'll see here it says general information. Then under this we'll see primary name server and secondary name server. So we just need to copy and paste these two URLs from HostGator into these name server boxes. So the primary name server is name server one and then the secondary name server is name server two. Then we just need to update our changes and we're done. Although just a quick warning, it's usually going to take around 30 minutes or so and sometimes a little bit longer before we can start using the domain name. This is due to something called domain propagation, but it's totally normal no matter what hosting or domain registrar we're using. Then once propagation is finished, we'll be able to start using our domain name from within our HostGator account. So that's us now finished and that was how to forward domain names to HostGator web hosting. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please give it a like here on YouTube to show your support. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel for more WordPress tutorials like this one published every week. Then if you have any questions or need any help with this, just leave me a comment underneath and I'll try my best to help you. Once again, my name's Marty from letsbuildwp.com and thank you very much for watching my video.